guys welcome back to my channel this is Karen Lavender Clothesline and I am actually not going to look at the camera because I am making this intro I am driving east to Philadelphia to go to King of Prussia Mall which is I think my all-time favorite shopping mall so I like to go there after Christmas to see if I can catch any after Christmas sales any clearance sales and if I wind up doing a big amount of shopping, I will do a haul. I have done this before, I think two years ago, I wound up hitting Anthropology and did really well. Picked up about, I think about 20, 25 pieces. And I also did Johnny Was and who else? I don't even remember who else. Plus I like to go through some of the high-end stores just to keep myself familiar with the branding. I like to go to Allen Edmonds and of course I go to all the really high-end stores, Gucci and Prada and uh, yeah, all of those stores which I never buy anything. But hit that like and subscribe button and hopefully I will be able to bring some footage or even better yet, a haul. Thanks so much for watching. super excited to come into anthropology. I feel their style is just so beautiful. Now anthropology, this location is in King of Prussia Mall like I mentioned and they also have their sister stores, Free People and Urban Outfitters close by. They do run sales as that little sign was showing, but mostly, well, all times when I shop here, I shop the clearance racks. They carry women's clothing, home goods, accessories. Uh, they do have some furniture. These hats on the wall are catching my eye. I thought this green hat was great fun. Now it does kind of lose something when you have a camera, the GoPro, <laughs> A face mask, but I thought this hat was really nicely made. I don't know that I'd ever wear a hat in my lifestyle, but it was fun trying things on. I kind of wish the hat came in brown. So funny that I want a certain color and I'm not really even going to buy the hat. So you guys get a clear shot of, I have my bandolier with my phone controlling my GoPro strapped to my tote bag. It is definitely a trick filming in a lot of these stores. Some stores seem not to mind if they see me running a GoPro and other stores would not really welcome it. So anytime I go into a store and I'm not quite sure what their policy is, as long as they don't have, you know, no filming signs, I go ahead and film. But I do try to keep it very discreet. So some of these angles might be a little bit different. And I will avoid some of the sales help so that I can bring you footage of what the store is like. Now, Anthropology is really a well-known store. The brand is very well loved. And here I'm just looking at a Sherpa jacket I loved. I loved a lot of this clothing. Super comfy and really nice quality. Look at this pair of, I'll call it salmon colored drawstring jogger pant. See how it has the dropped crotch? I really like that. Okay, totally fell in love with this print on this sweatshirt. And they had the matching pants. I don't know that I'd wear the matching pants too, but very pretty. What amazes me about this store is they must pay some rent for this space and look at the amount of real estate they don't even fill up. 
I think it might be for social distancing. So maybe normally their store does have more inventory and they have really kept it open so the buyer can feel comfortable shopping, which is very wise because some of the stores have not changed their footprint. And I think that's a mistake. I know when I look into certain stores and it seems like you know, the different tables and racks are very crowded. I have a tendency not to want to go into the store because I want to, you know, I want to social distance. Really pretty print there. So as you can see, the store is nice and large. And a lot of the furniture you see, the couch setups, the different little vignettes, it's all for sale. I think this area was linens and different um, vanity products, different creams and perfumes. Look at those pillows. Ugh. I do not need another pillow to take off my bed to get into bed at night, but boy, were those pretty. Okay, so I'm just sneaking along, trying to stay away from the sales help because I really want to see what's going on back here. And here I start to get excited. Yes, sales racks. So I'm just going to pull out a few pieces up. Oh, first, I'm going to show you the sign. So this is an additional 50% off of items that have been marked down. I always see a lot of velvet and bright colors on Anthros racks. At this point, I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase. I'm trying to tell if the price point is going to be correct for how I buy in. So I just keep looking at the tags to see if there are enough items to make it worth it. And I will be showing what I did buy in the haul right after this footage. Aren't the colors pretty? I love this, I don't know what color to call that, plum? It's not really a plum. I don't know, name that color down below of this pair of velvet pants this is, right? Is it pants or skirt? I think these were pants. Wide leg, ugh. Those are the type of pants you could take a nap in. <laughs> As I've mentioned, I've stopped picking up jeans, so I don't even bother looking at denim in uh, on these racks. I think at this point I start to realize that I will be shopping, but I wanted to film the rest of the racks because I knew I wouldn't be able to pull items and run the GoPro, you know, and be conscious of not filming other people. So I did pull out a few pieces to look at, you know, showing it here, and um, then I shut the camera off and we will do a haul after this. really looking forward to the day where I don't have to wear a mask because controlling my GoPro with my phone and having a winter coat on and wearing a mask is just too much. <laughs> too, too much. So very much looking forward to the non-mask days, which I'm sure are coming soon. Anthropology always has a fair mix of, I'm going to call it bohemian clothing, fancy clothing, but always well made, in my opinion. And now as I'm shopping, I'm seeing more and more people coming in the store, 
and going through the racks. But I wanted to give you the shot, the full shot of all the racks. And right away I see this sweater. I love this sweater. Spoiler alert, I did not get it because it was too high priced. But boy, is that pretty. I wouldn't mind that with, with a pair of jogger pants. Oh, one of those big wrap sweaters. So the yellow tag was not 50% off. I believe the yellow tag was 30% off. And I usually on clearance racks look for at least 50 bare minimum, usually. The next store that I'm gonna bring you in along with me is Johnny Was. Everybody knows my all time, all time favorite store ever in my whole life. Favorite brand. <laughs> now a little disclaimer, I did not buy anything in Johnny Was. Very few times have I found anything in Johnny Was with enough profit capability for resale. But I will always visit this store. This is just like, ugh, over the moon beautiful. And I figured I'd bring you in to show you just what Johnny Was is like if you haven't been in this store. It's so funny, I've filmed this footage and I've looked at this footage once before and I'm still swooning off these pieces sitting here doing this voiceover. I'm just hopeless. Many of their pieces are embroidered, appliqued. Um, they have a lot of cutout pieces, velvet burnout pieces, quilted pieces, silk pieces. How fun is this piece? This little, these little girl faces on it. Very unique items. Now, if you do get to Johnny Was, their clearance is usually in the back on the left. That's usually where I hit first, but I did want to, you know, bring out a couple of their current pieces to show you what they look like. And this store, I had to really be, you know, careful with my filming. I don't know that I've ever seen such plain pieces, but I loved these too. The customer service at this brand, at this store is really, really beautiful customer service. I remember shopping and buying a few pieces and they emailed me to make sure I was happy and liked everything. Now I know they're just trying to keep a customer, but when a store emails you to say, thank you so much for visiting, you know, we hope you're happy with your purchase. If you have any issues at all, let us know. Yes, please. This was a bathing suit. You know, kind of like a surfing style. What do we call this? Rash guard? Maybe one piece? If my body was 20 years younger, <laughs> I would have worn that. <laughs> one of the tips that I do give is to get the catalog, the paper catalog for any brand that you're attracted to because when you get a paper catalog and you really take time to go through it, not only do you see the styles and the colors and what you know they have to offer at what price point, but you pick up vocabulary words or different keywords that you can use for similar items in your title, in your eBay title. So naturally, you're not gonna use a brand that doesn't correlate to the item you're listing, but a lot of times the keywords are really helpful. A lot of the blouses are kimono style. Now when you go on eBay and you comp Johnny Was clothing and you look at the active listings, I do see eBay sellers selling Johnny Was brand new and they have quite a bit of it. So I'm not sure if that's an employee who is buying with their discount or if it is somebody that has some kind of in and is buying great quantities. This 
So that is a little footage of my shopping trip at Anthropology, and now let's get on to the haul. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline, and today I have a very fun video. Recently, I went to King of Prussia Mall, which is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I like to go there sometime after Christmas to check out all the stores, and I like to look for clearance that I can pick up to flip to make a profit. So while I do enjoy myself there, spend many hours, I usually go to a restaurant, I always go with a friend, this trip turned out to be even more fun than I expected. So let me just back up and say, when I go to King of Prussia, I really have to put on a different mindset. So as many of you might have seen, those of you who follow me on Instagram, I just posted a video about garbage picking. Yep, I have no shame. If I see a pile of discards that somebody's throwing out, I stop the car, quickly check both ways, cross the street, and fill my car with whatever I can get from garbage piles. I have no shame. But on the flip side, I love to go into, I'm going to call it high-end malls or high-end stores in malls and take a look at the quality and what's trending and just what those stores have. So this day was no different. I put on my false eyelashes, curled my hair, and really spent the whole day just enjoying looking at high-end items. I went to Tiffany. Where else did I go? Oh, just a ton of stores. I looked at Gucci. All kinds kinds of beautiful items that even if I was a millionaire, to be truthful, I don't know that I would buy, but I love to look at. So on this day, I did find quite a few pieces from Anthropology, one of my favorite stores that I oohed and odd over everything. I love the new um, jogger pants that are cropped and they're a little bit shorter and they kind of have like a drop crotch. I love comfortable clothing, so anything is like pajamas, I'm all in. So I did take a look at those that were out of my price point because I am so cheap, but I did enjoy picking up quite a few items for resale, and I have some of these items back here, and I'm actually wearing one of the tops. So this is a velvet top. I might have to stand back a little bit. Let me push this rack right out of the gate. We're changing things. on my tiptoes a little bit and um, yeah I just I just love anthropology they actually have an at-home or in-home store pieces for um, I think it's bedding and linens things like that the pieces to decorate your house and what else do they have lots of beautiful jewelry accessories masks everything so I did go in and I was thrilled to find that there was 50% off racks in the back usually in anthro when I go in I enjoy the, the new inventory in the front, but then I'm headed towards the back to see if I can score items for my eBay store. And what else did I do? I went to Johnny Was. Can I just say a major swoon? Whoever is buying or designing or decorating that store, I'm speechless, which is rare. You guys know me. I walked into that store and I felt like I was kind of like on a different planet or something. Beautiful embroidered pieces, again, a lot of velvet, a lot of romantic styles, which just speaks to me because I love anything romantic. I love velvet couches, big chandeliers. I'm just, I don't know, I'm a person from another era. So we did film a little bit in Johnny Was. I had to do it really on the down low. Now let me just say, for those of you who are new resellers, in order to do this, you do have to have a fair amount of capital. When I go into one of these stores and I buy for reselling, I drop, you know, between three and five hundred dollars at a clip. So you really have to have that plan in your mind. You really have to have a different way of thinking rather than when you go into thrift stores. Thrift stores, you can get away with, you know, 50 bucks and find a whole cartload. Where the stores that really have you know, I'm going to say better quality and beautiful design, you're going to, even on 50% off racks, you're going to spend some money. But I know that ahead of time. I know what my price point is. We'll talk about that a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this rack a little bit closer so we can take a look. Let me get that centered in the shot. So when I go into anthropology or a store like that, I have to have either a buy-in price in my head 
or what I'm looking for because it can be overwhelming. As you saw, there are quite a few racks and the store did get filled up with other people's shopping clearance. So when you see something, there's not a lot of it. You have to pick it up at a clip. Now, let me also say that when I pick up this type of item, I'm going to call it retail arbitrage. I'm happy to share it with you guys because I don't feel like the general public can just run to Anthro and pick up a ton of these pieces. So I'm not afraid of the market becoming saturated. Across the country, yep, you might be able to pick up this velvet top, but I don't fear that I'm going to um, kind of create a situation for myself where I have to lower my price too much or the market becomes saturated with the items that I picked up. Let me also say I did shop at Lululemon and my son had given me a Christmas present of a gift certificate and I picked up a backpack for myself. You know what? I'll grab it and we'll take a look at it. All right, so I picked up this backpack. Thank you, sweetie. And this was full price. This was not on sale. So um, it's $150 for a backpack. I know, gasp. If I had to put $150 of my own money out, let me just say I would not have spent $150 on a backpack. But I do travel a lot. I do plan on traveling more. And I'm trying to downsize the suitcase that I bring everywhere. As many of you know, if you can fly with only a personal item, like a handbag or a smaller backpack, you don't have to pay for your luggage, and I'm all about that. So I did pick up this fun Lululemon bag. Really nice. I think this is going to work out great. And while in Lululemon, I picked up a few items for resale, which I'm not going to talk about because that might be able to hurt my profit. So just know if you share with other people what you're picking up for resale, always have in your mind, is this going to hurt me selling the thing? Quite a few resellers shop and keep secret of items that they're selling. Did you know you can also hide some of your sales in eBay? Just saying. So sometimes when you look at somebody's store, not every sold you're seeing is everything they sold. That's a story for another day. Okay, so I'm not too sure whether I'm going to share what I paid for the items. Collectively, I bought nine pieces and I believe I paid $275. So if I did my math correctly, I think it's about $30 a piece. Now, did I pay $30 for each piece? No, I did not. Some of this was more expensive and some of it was less expensive. But I will give you the price that way because I don't really want to hold up a top and say, oh, I paid X amount for this and then you might be interested in it and you go in my store and see what I'm selling it for and not understand I've got to make a profit. So I think most of us understand that watch resellers channels that when we purchase the seller is also paying so many fees. You're paying eBay fees, promotional fees, your store subscription, your income tax, um, packaging, your time. And a buyer might not understand this, so I'm a little bit hesitant with these type of pieces to say what I paid. But just know my bill at the end was $275, which I thought was really good. Okay, let's get on with the first piece. So the first top, you know what, I'm going to move it back a little bit just so you can see the whole item. And I'll try to walk back and forth for the tags. Is a gorgeous blouse. Do we love this blouse? I love this blouse. I'll zoom in. Look at that bird print. How beautiful. Okay, so this blouse is made by Anthropology. Now, Anthropology is a brand that makes their own clothing. They also have designers making for them or other brands making for them, and they also carry other brands. So because you buy a piece at Anthropology does not mean that it is Anthropology. It just means it was sold by them but then there could be an actual anthropology label or it could be the third choice Mave by anthropology. Very confusing. And to top it off, anthropology is owned by Urban Outfitters. So sometimes the labels cross over into the stores, but the styles will change and Free People is a sister store. It's a whole thing. If you're really interested, you can Google it and there's all kinds of um, websites that are devoted to anthro, lovers of anthropology, which I am one, but I don't get a chance to read all of the, um, all of the blogs. Anyway, so I thought this was gorgeous. It's like a russet color, little ruffled trim, really nice attention to detail. And this is a size 2X. 
but you guys know me, I would wear 2X. I am very size fluid, I'm going to call it. I can't wear like an extra small, but there are times I consider myself like a medium most times. Some days I'm a large, but if I find something in 1X and I fall in love with it, I put a belt around it. I wear it. I don't pay strict attention to sizes unless it's pants. I can't get over my hips. Then we got a problem. So that is the first item. Beautiful, beautiful. And as you can see from the prior footage, um, they were on clearance plus 50% off. So it was the original price, a clearance price, and then 50 off. I should have bought even more, but um, I didn't want to put in too much because I might sit on some of this for a while, which you guys know me perfectly fine with that. Okay, the next piece up is an open front kimono jacket. <laughs> can we have a collective swoon? This thing is gorgeous. This is by Anthropology. So this is Anthropology making for Anthropology. I'll show you that there. And that's what their label looks like. Now their label has changed over the years. So the older Anthropology, a lot of it is still very sought after. Whenever I find it in the thrift stores and it's an actual Anthro piece, almost always I go ahead and pick it up because a lot of times shoppers with anthropology will just type in anthro or anthropology into an eBay search. There are a gajillion names, a gajillion brands, in my opinion, for anthropology. I used to have a chart. I will try to look for that chart again of the brands carried by anthropology and see if that can be a help to us. Because sometimes the labels are very, you don't know it's anthro, like Sparrow or, oh, there's just so many of them, Saturday, Sunday, just on and on. And a chart always helps. All right, so this is a gorgeous deep blue, it kind of almost has a tinge of purple in it, but it's a true blue, lined inside, kimono jacket. Loving, loving this thing. It almost feels like a silk. I'm going to check the material content for us. What is the hand wash called? Water, viscose and nylon. Yep, no silk. Just beautiful though, and um, size medium. And I picked up two of these, and this one is also a size medium. So I got two, and it has pockets. Again, this almost seems like a piece that Johnny was would sell if it was embroidered, but it's plain, but still love it. And I might steal this, I don't know, probably not. All right, so this is the top that I have on right now. And this is, oh, this is Saturday, Sunday by Anthropology. So that is what that tag looks like. Beautiful pleating right here in the arm. Can you guys see that? How pretty is that? And when you wear it, it gives you a little bit of like, like a bougie, slouchy look. I love that look. I think it's really, really nice. And um, love the velvet. Really nice quality, and I have found that the items that I have gotten from Anthropology, whether it be in a thrift store or actually buying at Anthropology, hold up really well when you wash them or dry clean them. Okay, so that is that. I got two of these, two of these. The next item up, I need to go to a party. <laughs> which, you know, this is like New Year's Eve and I never stay up for New Year's Eve. I think this year I was sleeping by 10 o'clock, probably snoring. I have no problem sleeping. This is Eva Franco. So this is, let me just fix the, the tag so we can look at this together. Okay, so that is Eva Franco. So this is a piece carried by Anthro. I don't think this was made for Anthro. I could be wrong about that, but beautiful. It's almost like a rose gold. Look at that. Ugh, shimmy, shimmy. And it makes a little noise. <laughs> Nothing like announcing that you're coming into the room, right, at a party. But uh, beautiful rose gold on a mesh lace underlayment. And does this have a liner? It does have a liner. I'm gonna pull this up so we can take a look at this. It has like a pink liner, which is giving even more of a pink glow to this thing. Just gorgeous. 
Okay, so only got one of these. If I would have found more than one, I would have picked up more of these, even though right now a lot of people aren't going to parties or whatever. I think this under a blazer jacket for a quiet evening, you know, out or whatever is still so beautiful. I would wear this probably with a cigarette leg pan and a blazer, always a blazer. And uh, yeah, really, really pretty. The next item I saw from far away, and I tried to run very casually because they didn't want one of the other shoppers to grab it. This sweater is, let me just see what brand this is. This is Anthropology. I thought this sweater was Sleeping on Snow. Sleeping on Snow is also carried in Anthro, and I have found, I think in my whole eight years, 10 years of thrifting, I've only found two and uh, they flew out of my store. Beautiful, soft, almost like, it feels like you're wearing a bathrobe out. It's so cozy and so warm and beautiful. So I thought this was sleeping on snow, but it's just anthro, which is just fine by me. So this is what this looks like. It is a long cardigan. I'm gonna call it a cardigan sweater coat, maybe. And it really has a mixed print to it. So it's almost got like an animal print, this beautiful like dot going on, a fringe shawl collar, how beautiful, and it's belted. So I only found one of these. That's the thing with Anthro too. When you get to their clearance racks, very rare is there more than two or three of something extra large petite. Now I don't think that's going to be a problem because most times these sweater coats are a little bit oversized. So while petite in some items might scare people away, I don't think it would be a problem in this. And I would try it on, but this isn't going to do anything for me because it is oversized, but just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And on a side note, down a rabbit hole, I went thrifting. Okay, so today is Tuesday. Oh, I was there yesterday. Surprise, surprise. And I found a sleeping on snow jacket. I'll have to show that to you guys in the next haul because the next haul most likely will be the crazy amount of stuff I picked up yesterday. Again, I showed a little bit of on Instagram. And I just wanted to share with you guys and encourage you guys. Sometimes when I show my hauls or my um, cart loads on Instagram, it's just to give you a little bit of a heads up of what I'm gonna be talking about soon and show you what my eye is finding, what I'm choosing. When I show a big amount in a cart or five carts or 10, I am there for hours and hours. Please don't think my thrift store is a store that I can just walk into and within 10 minutes, you know, have a cart load. Once in a while, yep, that does happen. But most times, guys, I am there, I'm going to say between six and eight hours in one store. And you know that. I pack my lunch, I go out to the car, I eat in 10 minutes, I'm back in. So while you guys might get the wrong impression, I want to encourage you that in order to get the inventory I'm getting, I am shopping hours and hours hours a week. This is not for the faint of heart. I am stopping at any kind of sale. I am stopping at estate sales. Anytime I see a sign, Facebook marketplace, um, curb alerts. Yesterday I stopped on the way home from Goodwill. I had thrifted for, I'm going to say about eight hours and I still, I was on the phone with a friend. Don't worry, it was speakerphone in the car and I was like, oh, got to call you back and pulled my car over quickly and did a curb pickup and got a few things, which I'll show you in the next haul or the haul after that. So please don't ever feel that I am just this magical person just finding all of this treasure. Do I find treasure? Yep, but I am on it hunting like several times a week. All right, enough of the rabbit hole. All right, and the last item, I got two of these that I wanna show you. Now, I don't know this brand. This is P-A-Y-A-L-J-A-I-N. Payal, Payal Jane. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, well-made, high-quality eyelet prairie skirt. Look at this thing. I would have to stand back in the kitchen to be able to show you this. Can you guys see this? How beautiful is this? Do we love this? Yes, we do. Okay, and I forgot to turn my chandelier on. I'm gonna do that now. 
I don't know if that made any difference, but I need the chandelier on and I've forgotten I'm not filming this whole thing over again. All right, back to the skirt. Prairie skirt, gorgeous multi-tiered. Okay, so the bottom is like a um, an eyelet and then it has a different eyelet banding, embroidered pockets. Do we love pockets? We love pockets. And elastic waist in the back and a smooth banding in the front. So pretty. This is great for so many different styles. So I grabbed two of these because they only had two. I would have grabbed 10 of those if they had them because I think a skirt is just the answer to a lot of things in life. You know, I, I used to be like always wear pants. I don't think I ever wore a skirt, but now you could throw on a skirt with so many different types of footwear. You could throw it on with sneakers and like a jean jacket and look great. And you don't have to worry about the whole pants thing, jeans, the waist is just super comfortable. And that is my commercial on skirts. All right. I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for a whole video of craziness I found in the thrift store. And as always, go out and get what's yours.